I'm the CEO of Legacy Restaurants, and we own and operate the original Ninfas on Navigation. It's a fantastic restaurant. It's now grown to over 7,000 square feet. Um, we've got 300 seats. You know, we operate 363 days a year. You know, we like to think that we've really kind of elevated Tex-Mex cuisine and added some really awesome stuff to the menu over the years. As much as we want everybody to try the fajitas, you know, which originated here in 1973, uh, we also want to give people uh, something else to try. Uh, hopefully they come back at least once a week. <laughs> My two most favorite things actually, one is the octopus tacos, which people don't think of as kind of your typical ordinary um, Tex-Mex, and we do this really fantastic mole rubbed salmon on grits that we uh, that make the salmon in the wood burning oven. Um, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. I, I see it as, as three really key touch points um, that have been real important for me. Uh, one obviously is the advocacy uh, part of it, which is important to everybody you know, in the industry and how uh, the association can influence policy that's being made. Uh, second, obviously, is education you know, through the foundation. That's, that's really important and we're all in the industry trying to figure out how to get more people involved in the industry so we can solve some of our labor shortage issues and things like that. Uh, and the third really is what I consider to be social. Um, social and educational at the same time. I think um, you know, really more than anything, what I've gotten out of it uh, is just the connections that, that I've been able to make with other people in the industry, and it's been extremely beneficial. So I always emphasize that uh, when I'm talking to anybody about you know, the association. Well, I consider hospitality to be treating your employees well, treating your customers well, and, you know, finding a way to make everyone understand the overall mission of providing great food, great drinks, great service, great atmosphere. To me, thinking about hospitality, it is all-encompassing um, from, from the corporate office to the management staff to the kitchen staff and literally to the vendors. I mean, it, ex it, it, it extends beyond just the four walls of the restaurant and our operations. So we've got a, a, a placard that, that demonstrates where like the original small front um, room of the, of the building is the original dining room from 1973 that had four tables in it um, when it started. And so obviously it's changed a lot over the years, um, but that's always fun. And, and we have a lot of people, you know, take pictures with that. And that's kind of a part of the iconic uh, uh, spot in the restaurant. One of the coolest things actually was, so we completely redid the kitchen. So we dug up the entire kitchen. It took 31 days to do the whole thing. And underneath the slab of concrete in the center of the kitchen, we uncovered a water well that had been covered over with brick from the old neighborhood. I mean, literally as, as I'm sure it was outside at some point, it was obviously in the yard and it got consumed by the expansion of the restaurant, it got covered over, and it still had water at the bottom of it. It was about 15 feet deep, and it was smack dab in the middle of the kitchen underneath everything. So we had to figure out what to do with it and had to fill it in and cover it over again. But we found doors that went to nowhere, you know, inside the walls and all kinds of weird things. You know, I, I was very fortunate in that I kind of stepped into a situation where there's a, um, 40 some odd year old restaurant that's really a, a true icon um, in the Houston market and beyond. And there are literally generations of people who've grown up coming here and bringing their families here. And you know, it truly is uh, a part of Houston history. So it's really kind of been a privilege to, to be involved in, in an operation like this that means so much to so many people. It's also a significant responsibility that, one that we don't really take lightly. We've been extremely fortunate. The restaurant's 46 years old, and we have one server who's been here 42 years, and we've got her sister who's been here about 36 or 37 years. So, uh, and there are others too who have been here two decades or more. So uh, we have a, a nice combination, a blend of folks like that who've been around literally for decades 
and then sort of the new blood that, that comes through. Uh, we've grown literally every year um, for the past, more than the past decade really. And uh, you know, we, we, we don't really show any signs of slowing down, which is kind of the way we like it.